Hey, James G. here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. But hey, if you need to, you can always find us because we're always online at tarpleymusic.com. So got a really cool double cutaway guitar here by Gretsch. So this is kind of like your, you know, 335 kind of a, a style or B.B. King's Lucille, right? But this is Gretsch's version of one. It's Gretsch Electromatic Pristine LTD Center Block. The short version of that is Gretsch Electromatic Pristine LTD Center Block. Uh, so that's really kind of all the parts that you have to get in that to explain what the particular title of this guitar is. And first of all, I'm not a big gold hardware guy, but for some reason, every time I see it on an off-white guitar, I really, really love it. And this is no exception to that. Beautiful white top, but then boom, right? We got a beautiful two-tone guitar. You're seeing this beautiful uh, wood here. Now this is laminated mahogany. The whole body is here. And there is a center block, like in the title, the uh, spruce center block that goes right through here. So uh, getting some of that solid body oomph, the tone from there. And then basically your wings are, are open, right? So uh, just a great, great way to get a lot of different kinds of uh, airy sounds out of it. Uh, the neck is also mahogany and it is a thin U-shape with a 12 inch radius. So a little bit fatter and the uh, this like thinner this way, but then it's got a little bit more uh, to a U shape, literally like that, right? And so with the 12 inch radius, it's a great combination for you know doing a lot of your your solo playing, maybe jazz shapes and stuff. So uh, now there's 22 frets. These are medium jumbo, according to the Gretsch's medium jumbo. I feel they're a little bit more jumbo. I don't know if it's just the day I'm having, but uh, I've been pushing a few. Uh, if I really dig in, I'll pull something sharp. Um, now that's my playing style. So if you're one who likes to just glide on top, great. You're not going to have any problem keeping this thing in tune. And the fingerboard we are playing on is a Laurel fingerboard, which a lot of people are using it in place of Rosewood. Uh, and I've heard a lot of comments, it's a little grainier. It's a little, uh, it, it very well could be. I've had no problem going between one or the other. Um, it definitely looks looks the same there. And I've played a lot of guitars with Laurel fingerboards. I really have no problem with it. Um, so the scale length is a 24.6. Scale length is from the nut here to the saddle, so your playable area, which is pretty standard for this style of guitar. It's very comfortable. Graph Tech, new bone nut. Um, for you tech guys, new bone is it's very easy to, to cut and to reshape. Um, and you really don't need a whole lot of fixing it, uh, <laughs> which is which is kind of nice. And then you've got your Adjustomatic Bridge, the 1950s Adjustomatic. It just sounds like something from the 50s, like a shredder that shreds lettuce or something. The Adjustomatic. Um, with the B70 Bigsby. And uh, it, I've given this a little bit of a little bit of oomph to it when I've been working with this, and it's still holding. So a lot of a lot of Bigsby's. Hey, it's just fact. <laughs> you do a couple of these, and uh, everything's out right. But this one's been holding uh, pretty well today, and I think it's uh, probably in combination with you're just getting full diecast sealed tuners. Um, now the uh, greatest part about this whole thing to me is the P90E pickups. Love P90s. P90s are a single coil right but you're going to get a, a just a lot of girth and a lot of scream out of them when you really want to and i just love p90s so the p90s in this style of a body uh this is very versatile okay uh, a lot of people look at guitars like this and they mean it's like oh it's like a blues guitar a jazz guitar i'm like man these things will rock dave Grohl plays one very similar in the foo fighters a, a, an open style like this and it can definitely rock and you'll hear that because we're gonna do clean and overdrive uh, versions for the demo here. So the knob setup is very cool. And we were just talking about this before we are filming. I wish more people would put a master volume right here in front. So that this, that's what this knob is. So you have a volume per pickup and then a tone. Um, but this is a master volume for everything. So just such an ease of going right here. It's almost in your strumming path. Love how they do that. And of course your three-way pickup switch here. So it's in on, when it's on top here, you've got your, your neck and then both and then your bridge. So we're going to give some great demo sounds, like I said, clean and overdrive. We're going to get both of those tones straight from this Black Star St. James. Love these amps. It's a killer amp. And uh, we're going to keep the reverb off and we're going to have the EQ just flat. To keep it very simple, so when you're listening to it, you can go, okay, if I want a little bit more high or a little bit of this, it's probably, a, it could be an amp adjustment. So we wanted to be real fair and consistent with what you're gonna hear from this. So I will give you uh, some demoing of the guitar clean in all three position, uh, as well as we'll put on some overdrive for all three positions.
Alright, so we've heard a lot of great tones on this guitar by itself, but what if I take two of those tones and throw it into a song I did before? Let's find out. Alright, hit it, boys! So a lot of fun working with this guitar today. Like a, th the one thing I may not have mentioned yet is that this is at a really affordable price point for someone who needs a cool semi-hollow style body. Uh, Gretsch has got a lot of great guitars that are affordable. Okay, let's just be honest. That is a huge thing uh, right now. And uh, it's not like they're skimming on anything, right? Mahogany neck, mahogany body, spruce center. Um, I mean, so it's just, um, it's just really a great guitar for many, many different styles. And it's gorgeous, okay? This was a great laminated mahogany look here. The binding really sticking out. And if you notice, if you look real close, the binding is actually a little bit more aged color than the top is. So it's another layer of kind of vintagey colors, which is really killer, which is probably why the gold doesn't bother me quite as much because it just kind of outlines a lot of the off-white. Um, but that's a cosmetic thing. From a playing standpoint, it's just great. These thumbnail uh, inlays right here, are they're very subtle, but they're great from a playing standpoint because um, a lot of times I can look and if I'm reading the dots and I can see a little bit of that thumbnail dot there too, especially if it's a, kind of a dark stage, um, <laughs> which I've been in, you know, in a situation where I'm like, oh, I hope I'm on fret nine, right? Um, so that kind of helps, but it's just, it's just it's really great. And another simple thing is that this something Gretsch actually does is they, these are basically, these are threaded, okay? So you can actually probably just with washers and stuff, you can use these almost as a, a strap lock. Um, and that, I don't know, really know if anyone else does that. Now, now some high-end guitars might come with strap locks, but that's cool. And a lot of their models um, um, do that. And if you've, if you've had any strap button issues, you know, where you got to stick a toothpick in there and redo it. And so that's, it's huge, especially if you're a gigging player, you know exactly what I'm talking about. After every set, you're <laughs> you get that Phillips out of it. So little things like that really matter. Uh, so it's a price point that working players can do. It's a very pretty guitar for the money. It's versatile. And a lot of these little things that really kind of keeps in mind from a, the longevity of a, a working player. So if you're looking for something like this, I would I would look at these definitely as a great option. Any of the Gretsch Electromatic stuff in general. Um, but with this Prestine, the P90s, it's kind of at a different level. You won't see a lot of them either. Uh, a lot of these have humbuckers, right? Um, so I don't know. It's a great option. I really enjoyed playing this today. I hope you enjoyed listening to it today and, or at least looking at it and listening to my ramblings about how great this stuff is. I just love it. So if you did like this video, give us me a thumbs up there and make sure that you like it. And subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should come along and subscribe. And uh, if you'd like to know... Uh, when we upload more videos, because we do it all the time, you can just ring the bell, and then uh, we will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.